So this video I am going to dedicate to the earliest big ultra. What I was referring to was MK Ultra in international settings, uh, but it became evident that uh, my MK Ultra case uh, goes way, way, way back. Way what I initially anticipated. Uh, it goes way, way, way back in time. Uh, for the first time, I recorded the memory of MK Ultra when I knew for sure I was on MK Ultra was when they brought uh, a real woman on a picture, you know, like a grown woman. Uh, and <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm asking ladies to excuse my expression right now, but uh, you know the kids always would uh, share, you know, you know, porn material in the school and after school and this and that, you know, it, it, it was just this is just the way it goes. The the male anatomy of psychology works like this but when I was in the sixth grade you know and that's why I know for fact that that was unmistakably it was MK Ultra uh, when I was in a sixth grade there was a lady from Bosnia and Herzegovina that they introduced in MK Ultra in Aragoska. Uh, right at the top of that Aragoska there was this beautiful girl. She was about 22 years old at the time and uh, her facial features were like uh, dark features. What Croats wanted, uh, insisted me that it was a Croatian actually from Rijeka, Azad or Split, something like this. They insisted that, that sure enough it was, but it was not. She had uh, facial features that I know because I know DNA of the people from whatever region. Uh, she had a facial P features of Bosnian, like the guy who met me here a few days ago with his mom and his sister, but not his mom and his sister, but he. He had this exactly the kind of facial features which are characteristic for some parts of Bosnia and those features are dark complexion uh, it, it's just really really actually very dark complexion probably about the darkest complexion in what used to be uh, Yugoslavia previously known as Yugoslavia Federation Yugoslav Federation and in this girl a really beautiful girl, slim, and uh, she was more like, I would even say that she had, but you know, it's, I don't know, or a Roma or Turkish features in her. Uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, she just uh, was testing me, they were testing me to see how I respond to females from other republics and they demanded, they claimed that something was wrong this. and so they involved the psychiatrists which psychiatrists? they had psychiatrists here from Novo Mesto and they demanded a thorough in, uh, investigation of this of placing this girl on uh, on the MK Ultra picture, and 
I, I was crazy about that girl, actually, and she liked me a lot. And according to psychiatrists at the time, they have written down in my collection this year that I passed with the flying colors, that I am a Yugoslav. It's no problem. Uh, leave the boy alone. Yeah, if you could do with that one, you could do with anyone in Yugoslavia. Basically, that's what they wanted to do, uh, basically. But the girl was a sexy boy. She had a slim body and, like I said earlier, pardon the ladies. She has a nice breast, you know. Uh, and um, I, as much as I wanted to meet her again, in my fucking dreams, uh, she was gone of the picture, and uh, she decided that the age difference that she would like that she likes me and everything, but the age difference that this, I saw her again, but the age difference was between us it was too big. Uh, I was like 12, and uh, that she was a 22, but boy, you know when you get to see. It, a woman, like growing up, you know, a real woman. <laughs> uh, it didn't stop there, this, with this woman. They always use women for MK Ultra, by the way. That's how they get males participate. About when I was like 13 years old in the village here. In Yugoslavia, it was uh, my neighbor, Metod, uh, the two brothers, one is Cyril, and uh, yeah, Cyril Yerman and Metod Yerman, and it was uh, another one, Janček here, uh, you know, people from the village and that I grew up with, and they claimed that it was a police that ransack the village they were always making one thing about mk ultra they were always making on every once in a while they would always make incidents they will make my, one feel as per when the mk ultra started when in fact if you go deeper you're going to realize it's actually going even deeper in time further in time is what i'm trying to say and this was just one of the things they orchestrated, but otherwise, my MK Ultra, my MK Ultra started probably when I was, I have no fucking idea, maybe, in the second grade of the school. So then it became like a hotbed for MK Ultra. This school, this Gurum school. This is not an innocent school, this school. I talked about it's a very, very notorious stuff that went on. Uh, and this school was just flooded, I think, with the issues I'm talking about, with definitely mine. Who knows what it was. Maybe I was in the second grade of the... Maybe I was nine years old. Maybe I was eight years old. Who knows who the fuck. How, how far this goes. I have some other memories too, but I want to start with that. The girl like this, you can barely even see in Slovenia. You don't, that's why probably that's like the, like the most colorful, strongest memory that I have on. That's exactly basically what it goes to. That's what it adds up to. And so, um, Now I see the couple over there. Anyhow, I am not, I have spoke to a mom and to a daughter. They were involved in this very long time too. When 12 years old in this village, Kirka village. 
the police did something to confuse on timing. They were using these kids that were about same age and then year two, three, four years uh, older than myself and Uh, let's go the opposite way. No. Yes. Later on, we're going to come back. And they were using these kids to claim me that every one of them, during MK Ultra, everything was during MK Ultra, that everything, every one of them was evaluated during MK Ultra to see if they would pass. They all passed with the flying colors, uh, except myself. Just like everything in life I had, uh, I was labeled as a failure again by a police, now police, who became a police officer through the stuff like this. Metot uh, Yerman, that's a neighbor. Uh, and then you have a Tina Yerman, another neighbor. These are all cousins. Uh, and others in the village, like everything in life. And if you go to my class uh, index, you will see like the lowest grade, like, like stuff you can't see anywhere in the movie the teachers did exercised already based on that index can be seen that it was Mount Everest multiplied with a thousand of violence they exercised against me during this so-called a federation a Yugoslav federation this this actually was a greater Serbian Chetnik state same as to what Russia is in this Russian federation They were subjecting to MK Ultra throughout the village and uh, that, uh, that it was already decided and they decided that I didn't pass and so on and insisted me that I am mentally ill, literally by the village people. My age, age was 12, 13, I was probably age 13 when this incident happened. Uh, I was maybe in the last grade of the grammar school and was ready to enter high school for which teachers gave absolutely everything, anything they would give uh, to block me, to stop me, to prevent me from uh, obtaining one. Moscow. Before the Moscow, it was a Belarus. Moscow came after Belarus. The number one man involved in MK Ultra uh, in a Belarus, the main person in a Belarus, to whom Slovenian, actually Yugoslav government, had me report to. Uh, that was uh, Mr. Lukashenko. Mr. Lukashenko was the man whom I would frequently meet uh, since like age uh, 12. They would deliver me to Belarus. Uh, suddenly I was also delivered to the Russia uh, in Russia, uh, the main individual who ran the world of underground affairs, such as MK Ultra, uh, therefore to the Soviet Union. Excuse me, at that time this was all Soviet Union. Belarus was just a republic. Uh, was uh, Lavrov. 
Lauro was a totally man in charge for world of external affairs since from forever. And this man was the man that was far more capable than any Russian diplomat. He was more, he ran Russia, Lavrov ran Russia. Listen, when, I'm, when I say I'm age 51, you know, and you, you say age 12, yeah? So commenced international, entered the international world of affairs through MK Ultra scenarios. Yeah, that's actually brutal now, right? The world of international affairs commenced for me practically 40, year, 40 years ago. Okay, can you now, do you guys They used to refer to me during MK Ultra uh, as a as a as a grandpa, as a father, as a grandpa, and uh, I, I the Germans did, and I told them like Americans did. And I told them, I asked them, and said, "What the fuck are you talking about? What kind of grandpa and pa and?" grand grandpa and so on and they told me because because on average the people last five years in this business so 40 years of international affairs involved in mk ultra now how important was i in this whole thing well I was more important than any king in this world. I was more important than all the kings in this world together. Because these kings all together, with the US government, if you want, just didn't have what it takes to bring to the table the rest there was still missing variety of governments of huge giant countries such as China, India and so on and so forth. Too many countries that just like myself when it all started 40 years ago I was not willing to actually to deal with any of them because when I came to Russia first, to Belarus, I found on a picture uh, in the Belarus, the people that met me, like the girl, uh, there was girls and so on. This is the whole, the teacher of a Belarus, of the Russian language, for instance, I met in Vitebsk. Uh, these are the people that were involved in MK Ultra literally from 44 zero years ago when I was delivered to Belarus. Seldomly, as I stated, I would be also delivered to Moscow. Uh, Belarus, I repeat to you, this was Republic, Soviet Republic at the time. We are not talking about any Russia here, we're not talking about any Belarus, basically we're talking about the Soviet Union and then a republic such as Russia and republics such as Belarus and so on, yeah, to be properly, to keep it on track, these issues. So, I will never forget the day when I, 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 uh, there were the kinds of stuff that they complained about me, that I'm a racist and this and that. Let me tell you something. Uh, there were so many beautiful women in there, in Russia and in Belarus, that 
I was completely fine. I, yeah, I mean, for the young boy, this was like, I was like in a store. You would bring a young boy to the, to the store with a Candice child, I should say. And you would say, which one do you want? And he would say, this one. And he would go like, no, 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 let, let me have that one. Or, no, no, let me, let me have that one. I, I prefer to have that one. Are you sure? How about that one? You would say, how about that other candy? Oh, that looks good. Or toy, let's say, yeah? And, and yeah, 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 daddy, yes, mom. Uh, give me that one and so on. You know, I thought in my mind that I reached a climax of this world. I, I was sure that I got, I hit the lottery and that uh, it couldn't be better than this. I mean, it doesn't get better because there was just like, you know, in Slovenia, there was not so many beautiful girls. Excuse me, uh, I didn't find so appealing the girls in the school, or whatever. But it was like I feel like every girl, like I, I was just, I felt fantastically good under this MK Ultra. They promised me that a good financial life, uh, wealthy, everything, Russia big. Uh, you enjoy you this you that you know fantastic you know i couldn't you know you, there was a maria zaharova multiplied with a thousand so some beautiful outstanding also chinese woman girls i should say uh, mixed with russian and so on you know lavrov ran the whole underground what, what he alone said to me what do you think we have so many children here from all over the world they compete they compete for what you have and you behave like this and that he scolded me once that just for me to say that lavro was the one who absolutely cared about the entire underground entire uh world of underground affairs and in Belarus, that was a Lukashenko. So we know Lukashenko and Lavrov were involved already 40 years ago. Another individual who was involved in this stuff, individuals who were involved in this stuff and I didn't have a problem with, was Lech Kaczynski brothers, Kaczynski brothers, I should say, Yaroslav Lech Kaczynski. Both of them were involved. Both of them were super, super friendly with Russians, uh, these were the best bodies of uh, Lavrov, uh, Medvedev, and so on. I didn't make any mistake about everything I stated. Everything I stated is exactly the way it was. Everything on our website I stated is exactly the way it was. So, uh, my friends from Poland, I got other friends from the Czech Republic and uh, I accepted everyone, everyone. I had a problem after already accepting the friendship. She, the one who befriended me with these people, these were uh, Russians, Lavrov. Lavrov was the one who presented me to American side. It was Lavrov who presented me to the Germans, to British royals. And he insisted me that I have to also accept the friendship from the Swedish King Gustav. After I rejected one, I didn't like one. I didn't like one because he approached me and he took it like for granted or something like this. And uh, it, it, the whole thing looked to me like evil. And I didn't want, because they claimed that, that I was a racist and this and that. No, it wasn't only Carl Gustav that, that I rejected a lot. And it was Russians that started to convince me to be friendly and this and that. And that's why they wouldn't introduce me to Moscow. 
because it was Lukashenko who was initially used for the trainer. Once the training in Belarus would go through, it lasted about two years until like my age uh, 14, probably started even at age 11, I think. Then they would introduce me to this international circle. First to the Russians, which I had no problem to accept. I was there already, like I said, this was abundant of this beautiful woman around. I mean, she went crazy, I mean, for the young boy. Uh, and then it was, uh, uh, when I, when, uh, Lukashenko said, now you're ready. I started in Russia, in Moscow, like assembling my own circle of people. Like, Lavrov was my assistant, basically. He was like a father, basically. He, like, fathered me over there, saying, you must uh, accept this, you must accept that. The truth is, I didn't want to see uh, Swedish King Gustav. And Swedish King Gustav was maybe the biggest supporter throughout MK Ultra, next to the Dutch King, uh, Queen, I should say, and King, or I should say her son, William, and so on. So, uh, it, it, it's not like this. It's about totally other issues pertaining to MK Ultra that uh, was so twisted into a totally other direction that is unbelievable. It was all nice. It was all good. Everything was okay. I became friend, okay. I said, okay, 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 the Swedish king, yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. I don't like, I really didn't like. Uh, Czech, Slovak, yeah, Ukrainian, everybody uh, from the Baltic state. These people claim that I'm the most uh, Slavic person of all, uh, that I'm maybe Slavic too much. Now I was too much Slavic. That compared to what it developed into, into hostility that it developed, is actually incredible, incredible compliment, right? But it's exactly this kind of compliment in compliments that are used to commence something else, you know? Sometimes in my, probably 1998 to be exact, yeah, to be like exact to the last millimeter. 1998, you know, eh, I had a Serb that was all crazy about me. And I have no idea. Yeah, it could be the couple that I met the other day that passed through here, that this is the guy. They were using Serbs. And this serves all crazy about me, like crazy. Like when they would deliver me to Belgrade and stuff, the Belgrade was all crazy about me. The Belgrade was all, uh, that's incredible, man. It's just like, like what the fuck? I mean, all of a sudden you find yourself in the Belgrade city and uh, next to the people that have restaurants and yeah. Uh, I should say, work in the rest. That's at that time, this was Yugoslavia, you know. And uh, then it was uh, also Croatia, Zagreb. They transferred me. Uh, and I, I didn't see evil in it. But, man, I, I liked Russia too much, you know. Uh, Russia was my passion. Uh, I was crazy about Russia because in Russia, uh, because of the women, you know. The women were, uh, it was it was a background, all kinds of women. You have uh, women from 
uh, in the Soviet Union you had a woman from uh, Estonia, from Lithuania, from Latvia, the, from uh, uh, St. Petersburg and from Moscow and uh, you have a woman from Chechnya, let's say, that I like very much. And you had a woman from Kazakhstan again. And you have women from with a totally different racial backgrounds. Uh, for whatever, whatever the hell you know comes to your mind when it comes to beautiful women. And uh, for me, this is like uh, MK Ultra Paradise. It was like, you know, I, I, I figure out, fuck it, you know, if I'm gonna have a money, you know, I ask, well, it's gonna be money. And it's always money, pretty money, don't worry about it. Money as much as you want, you know. Okay, money as much as you want, woman. What, this is, this is, uh, you know, you, you don't even wanna go back to the real life anymore. I mean, that's how it all started. Lavrov, uh, basically, was the one who uh, babysitted Medvedev. Medvedev baby, a baby, Baby Medvedev was a baby at the time when it all started. He was a baby. Medvedev was a baby raised by Lavrov, Sergei Lavrov. Yes, sometimes, you know, uh, Lavrov chose based on, on good scores, university and uh, political career and stuff like this. Medvedev to join him. You know, he, he said, this is going to be our new comrade. He, this is Medvedev. The year was about, I say, uh, I don't know, 1985 Medvedev already participated, but sometimes in 1989 Medvedev become like actively participate. Yeah, but I really liked Lavrov, and so Medvedev had a hard time too. Uh, it was actually, for everything was necessary a time to adjust me, basically, because I got attached to people that uh, participated, and, uh, and everything that Lavrov would say, everything that Lavrov, you know, Lavrov was more like my father, basically, you know? Uh, I have a problem with the, with the, with Medvedev. I had a problem. For me, Lavrov was everything basically in Russia. This is in Russia, but in uh, Belarus, uh, it was a Lukashenko. Uh, my father in 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 uh, MK Ultra father in Belarus was a Lukashenko, and. Another one was a Polish Kaczynski, uh, Kaczynski brothers. Uh, those are the people that uh, I, I would just strive toward too. And then they have this Milos from Czech Republic. Those are the people that go 40 years back into MK Ultra. Hmm? Interesting. I, I accepted these people and so on and so forth. And once I accepted this whole group of people, Americans, British, and so on and so forth, uh, in 1989, I was, uh, now you have Americans, British, Swedish, uh, everything. Uh, we have all the people on board. Chinese, we have Chinese. How do I know about the Chinese? I know about the Chinese because I always love Chinese. Chinese, uh, I love them, I love the woman, Chinese woman was uh, this Marco Polo, this movie I watched night and fucking day when they released this Italian movie. Uh, I was doing as a child. I was in a uh, fucking. I would miss a single 
episode of this Marco Polo. I would kill for that uh, to see this stuff, basically. Uh, Berlusconi uh, issued uh, that certificate yesterday. He's not dead. Uh, it's exactly what I was told the case is going to be. Uh, Berlusconi participated. It's very important for me. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, but under MK Ultra, I have no idea what happened, and I, uh, I apparently that I disliked Chinese already back in ninety, maybe I don't know ninety one. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, all I know is that the uh, Chinese delegation told me that uh, I'm no good uh, during MK Ultra and. Uh, uh, what that means, what that translates is that the Russians did some shit to me. They told me, I think, that I will spend the rest of their life in China and I don't know what, that I'm going to go to China and this and that. So they, they traumatized me. Uh, it's fucking young, what, 17? Uh, basically, you're talking about the hijacking and stuff like this. The Russians uh, apologized uh, hijacking of the brides and stuff like this is completely normal in Russia to just hijack and stuff like this steal people uh, it started to get fucking weird this whole thing uh, and I said no I'm not fucking going to no China like this this is not gonna happen like this that I'm just gonna be hijacked to China I mean what the fuck uh, yeah that has been decided this and that and no it was a fight uh, and in, I know so that the Chinese already were involved in this stuff at the time because I didn't have a problem with the Chinese, but when they did the shit like this, uh, they hyped me. They, they, uh, they turned me into something else systematically, gradually. So I'm going to get to this stuff so that you will understand how it all went. Yeah, exactly the procedure. Uh, Chinese told me we're gonna have uh, people in the city of the Novo Mesto, and uh, it's gonna be this guy Kramberger. Ivan Kramberger also participated in MK Ultra. Ivan Kramberger participated in MK Ultra, yeah. S Slovenian inventor. The Germans involved. Uh, with what they claim to assist me to help me yeah. <laughs> uh, participated in it uh, he will have uh, his show in novel master presidential I don't know what year was it was it 91 92 I don't know and uh, we're gonna have our people a Chinese uh, selling a Chinese stuff like you see on the movie from uh, Marco Polo and uh, I came from the school and uh, I have no idea why I never had money I have never had any kind of money but my mom sure made sure that I had money that day I actually had money like pocket money and I threw all the fucking money on this uh, Chinese stuff on this market and they said that we're gonna see how much if you really like Chinese we're gonna see I had no fucking idea but I was a really good buyer that day uh, at this market but not because of MK Ultra if it was for MK Ultra probably if I would recall MK Ultra I wouldn't buy a fucking thing and uh, so Ivan Kramberger who was executed uh, as a, during the first presidential elections in Slovenia, uh, had his show and he recognized me. He said, oh, hey, it's you. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. I said to myself, I was just, I'm a kid, but if, you, if I get a complicant from the guy like you, he had this old car and a little monkey next to him and dressed in black and all this, 
Oh, I said that's really cool. He was inventor. Has something to do with the dialysis machines and stuff. I was like honored, you know. <laughs> Thanks, man. I said, I said to him, I said, Thanks, man. That you like this. Could, said, Could you please sign me the book? And uh, uh, then in the book, he signed me actually, yeah. Uh, so I was, uh, I was all set. Yeah, I was all set. I had my Chinese. Uh, you know, the ladies have this stuff to cool themselves. You know, pachleacha, we say in Slovenian. I don't know how you say that. Uh, nice. I come home. I had this uh, also for uh, like a little instrument, orglitz, and, you know, and uh, cars and I don't know what the fuck. I loaded myself. I, I spent everything over there in this stuff. Uh, it was really good. I was so pleased with the purchase. Maybe they give me even for less money because I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I. I uh, it's actually crazy. I don't know how I got all that stuff. Was for it was kind of a cheap, really dirty cheap, man. And it was nice. Then it was inside of my drawer. And it always reminded me of Marco Polo, yeah, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, in 1988, in 1989, uh, the guy I was talking earlier, I think I saw him. I think this is the Serb, one of the Serbs. There was two Serbs. Uh, uh, one of the Serbs was... Uh, some kind of a soccer, uh, something like this, football training or some shit like this. I have no fucking clue. He plays soccer or something, whatever. And he was all crazy about me. He was the one already since, my God, I don't know when, when uh, since uh, really, really, I was a young boy, that he was the one who would rush to pick me up and, and uh, deliver me with his car then and this and that and so on. Uh, and so, I had no fucking idea what the hell went on at all. And, uh, and, uh, uh, they told me that they have a big contest. You see, they set a time frame. They wanted me to, under, to believe that it all started in 1988, in 99. And those are the kind of a gimmicks, scam they would use. In the scam they would always use for the time frames to cut the ultra in parts so that your mind would not penetrate deeper and know more about abuse. That's exactly the scenario they use on this occasion. Was that they are contesting children. You know when I earlier I mentioned about these kids from the Kirka village, how uh, they uh, they acknowledge me as uh, mentally ill and I'm gonna have to remain in MK Ultra. Well, it started like this, that it's a competition, MK Ultra competition. You know, it's a competition, what kind of competition, MK Ultra competition. The winner, what is the price? What is the winner is gonna be? That's how Lukashenko presented me into Moscow. Hey, and Lavrov, that's how they presented themselves in my head to me basically it's going to be a competition on a mk ultra who is who is going to win that will participate in moscow so i didn't know what the fuck they were talking about but all this stuff in my head uh, told me uh, but basically everything in life I always went into fight basically for whatever it was I never stopped I never stopped even if I lost I never stopped uh, and you know I said yeah I want to participate in that game too crazy right already so many years doing this shit and that you want to participate now and you want to be a champion that will go to Russia. So now I started to rival with what they presented to me, other kids in Slovenia, some from Maribor, some from Celje, 
and so on that I'm going to be the one and fuck it no matter what they and uh, yeah there was some obstacle in between uh, to cross and uh, seemingly those opponents of mine were winning and uh, I started to play dirty to get my stuff done and I was committed to play dirty as far as it gets during MK Ultra uh, to win that spot the, the spot to Moscow I was ready to kill uh, to get this job in Moscow with without any exaggeration you know uh, just like like I say yeah and uh, in the end it was decided that the guy from Maribor won uh, but I don't know what the fuck I did I got into the physical with him or whatever it was on the MK Ultra <laughs> eventually I was told that it is decided that I won anyways that that that, that I won this uh, 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 contest yeah and uh, and I was I was pleased man I was like really I won the fucking contest yeah yeah you won the contest the guy was not jacked up he was just one of the kids they used some kind of Udba kid that they used to to sicken me even more uh, to see how dirty how low I can get to get the job to get the spot in Moscow and there was no there was no limit there was no no fucking border nothing when he came to Moscow that I want to be a fucking champion over there and that's it and uh, they told me okay okay you won a lover was the one said congratulations you won you won the top spot I, I was like really I want the top spot ha huh? so I want the top spot this is amazing uh, yeah, you want the top spot, uh, but you're not going to be happy about the top spot. And uh, I said, why? Why wouldn't I be happy? I'm so happy. Well, why? I said, I really don't understand. Why the fuck I wouldn't be happy about it? It's a top spot I got. Hey, uh, I get this to be in Moscow now, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, they told me, uh, this is this was a contest to see who is mentally ill and you won the top spot <laughs> you got the top spot for mentally ill okay so congratulations uh, I was like immediately in a fucking trauma shocked uh, with this kind of contest it did not appeal to me you know I I came to terms that the Russians are contemplating something dirty against me. Now this was 1988-1989. Medvedev also in the picture. Putin also in the picture. And uh, with me on the picture, British on the picture already, everybody on the picture already, and I no longer wanted to be on the picture. I said, fuck this. I don't want to participate anymore. Uh, they did already to me a few things. And I told them, you know what? I say, fuck you. And fuck your games. And your MK Ultra, I don't want to be there anymore. That was at the moment the Russians assist to transfer me from the Russian side onto a neo-Nazi side. Maybe that gives a Chinese some idea. The neo-Nazi side consisted of the West, Germans, British, Americans. In other words, they grabbed me and they threw me in the arms of uh, colonialists, Nazis. Uh, I shouldn't say, and I don't mean to say, but I am referring to MKUltra terms. I'm referring to the view, perception, which they alone have presented me with. Uh, it's like, we don't want you and this and that, and uh, maybe they want you and this and that. And they, they started to, they use British royals to defend me. And the role, 
that Lavrov had previously, maybe because I didn't want to cooperate with Americans and with British, they start, Americans and British started to complain that I don't want to cooperate with them. It was a complaint against me. I didn't want to have nothing to do with them. When it came to all these people, I didn't want to fucking see them. Just like this. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. I didn't like... I didn't like them. Why I didn't like them? I don't know. That is the answer I have no clue to. I don't know nothing about why I didn't like Americans. Why I didn't like Germans why I didn't like Scandinavians, I had no fucking clue. I just didn't like them. Didn't like them at all. And so it appears that the Russians have done something to approximate me to the issue which later was used uh, literally through perception of Americans, Germans and others has a war declaration on them alone. Now you see how twisted fuck this is? You see how impossible it was to, for a young boy to figure out all this stuff about basically what went on, how they were doing? For you to figure out this stuff, you have to recall exactly the events as they were. But it was this double, you know they say a double edge sword? Double razor, double sided uh, issue uh, that was used uh, for, for the 40 years. Yeah, the thing is, it was not a double edge, it was not a double sword. Okay, it was 100 edged sword they chopped me with when it comes to psychology. Uh, it was not sharp in mind. It was actually dumping down. It was actually killing off every aspect in life, in one's life, yeah. And this was no assistance, this was no help. This was not a friendship of any kind. This is a war. This was a plan to basically get me killed. This is end of the part one.